Hello guys, Shadow Ravana here, and we are back with Hearts and Heroes. In the last episode, we left off right before Mark was going to give a massive pep talk. So, let us go. I'm ready to go, but I still don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing out there. I've hit people with a stick in lacrosse, but I've never been in a fight before. Don't worry. New recruits face the easiest enemies on their first shift. Even though everyone's dreams are different, we try to make sure that no one is going is facing enemies they can't handle. Tonight, your mission is to help a teenage girl whose family has been going through some tough times. It's caused her to have a lot of anxiety and she feels like a burden. Here, things like anxiety take form as terrorlings. They start out small, but they can pile up over time and can do some serious damage. So, I have to fight these terrorlings? Yep. Once she's been rescued, the exit portal will appear to take you back to the hub. And what if I fail? You'll be fine. I know you can do it. I won't mention failing because failure is not an option here and you will be kicked out of the hub if you do that. Okay, not really, but <laughs> you were chosen for a reason. If you say so. Then is it about time to start? Yeah, let's get going. A lot of heroes. All right, guys, listen up. Hey, now, come on. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> now that I have your attention, we all know why we're here. There are dark things out there threatening the well-being of good people, but we're here to stop them. Each and every one of you has something in your heart that can shine through that darkness and let you reach out to others. Some of you were saved, others were chosen. Chosen by what? Well, to be honest, I have no freaking clue. I've been doing this for a few years now and I still haven't been able to figure it out, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop fighting. Every night the darkness attacks, but our numbers continue to grow with each person saved. Helping people is what I'm all about, so I'm taking this as a chance to do just that. I want you all to know that even though things will get rough out there, I believe in you and I know you can do it. And if it ever gets to be too much, just know that we're all here for you and you can always ask for help. And there's the third bell. One more thing for new people. <coughs> Us. See that heart everyone has on their sleeves? It's the mark of a hero. Not everyone you stay will have one, but if they do, it means they'll be joining our ranks in the fight against terror links. Once again, you have no choice in this matter. You simply have to fight for the rest of your lives in your dreams, and you cannot avoid it. Good luck! All right, everyone, good luck out there. I'm ready. Let's go, let's go. I'm so hyped. I'm pitching the strings, the gun. I swear I'm a mum. See you guys on the other side. Let's go! Hang on a second. You said each person had to be saved from the terrorlings, right? Yeah. Then what about me? I wasn't being attacked when you came. Well, like I said, sometimes people get chosen. That's what happened to me too. I don't know how it works, but it's just one of those things where you get a chance to do some good and you just gotta take it. I mean, I guess? It's kind of like helping a stranger who dropped their book, right? No, but if it helps you understand, sure. Hey man, I've got enough sass of my own. I don't need any from you. Well, I guess we should get going. Here goes nothing. You got this. And we got Markiplier. Da 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 da. And let us go. And once again, they do not trust us. And we are in Slender Forest. Whoa! So we're in, in someone else's dream right now? Yep, we should hurry and try and find them before the terrorlings do. Uh, that's probably just a cute, harmless forest animal, right? Well, it could be. Or... Or something else probably watching us and waiting for the right moment to murderize us! You're not helping! I'm kidding. Kinda. Are you gonna stick with me throughout my whole first shift? 
Aw, sick of me already? I'll stay with you for as long as I can, but I have to eventually get back to my own objectives. Oh, great. I know where we are. What? Where are we? This will certainly be an interesting first mission for you. I did not pick this mission very well, but how I can pick them in the first place is unknown. I probably should have told you I was giving you an easy mission. Ah! Sound like, sounds like someone needs our help. Let's go! The heck? What is that? Are those Terralings? Yeah. They're just little guys, but don't let your guard down. All right then, I hope I don't die. Eh, eh, we can't die, right? Hey jerks, over here! And battle start. And we got some creepy ass zombies. We don't have enough mana for a double strike, but let's try Hammerhead. All right, and we got Markiplier! So, we got a crazy foot thing, a Marky Slash, secret Japanese technique, are you actually kidding me, Markiplier? And then, Wumpa Swump. And of course, Mark is stupidly powerful. Though, we're not too shabby ourselves. Let's just attack, and... I doubt we're gonna have Mark for a very long time, but let's just attack since he does so much damage anyways. Ready for another round? And he has hit the level cap, apparently. Uh, Mark's hit the level cap, apparently. And we just leveled up. This was way too easy. And we got stuff! We did it! See? I knew you'd be fine, even though the whole reason you won is because those enemies were stupidly easy. Ah, crap. I gotta go. You'll be okay on your own, right? Don't worry. I got this. I have no clue what I'm doing, but I got this. Good to hear. You'll have to find that girl who ran away. She still needs your help. What I meant to say before was that this is the Slender Forest. Think you'll have to collect all eight pages to make it through. Try to stick to the path so you don't get too lost. Hopefully you won't have to deal with old Slendy himself. You probably will, though. I believe in you. Good luck. Thanks! And what's interesting is... Now that I'm alone, this place really gives me the creeps. I better find those pages fast. They leave behind little holes. I guess where they jumped out of the dirt. Oh, hey! We got... A house and a graveyard because of course we do it's only slender forest we will most likely run into slender man but who knows and what's interesting is I have never actually played slender man somehow let's just go along the road hopefully we'll find the pages wait why am I wandering around in the woods this is dumb. Nice ambient creepy music. Whoa! There be Slendy! What the? <laughs> he just follows you. Hi, Slendy. Bye, Slendy. And we died! Yay! Like I said, I have never played Slender Man, so I don't have a bloody clue what I'm doing. Please tell me I don't have to watch those cutscenes over again. Right, okay. Cutting ahead, activate. Slender Man, go away. Slender Man, go away. Slender Man, go away. Thank you very much. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Apparently, when you load, Slender Man will always appear. So it's in your best interest to find an exit and run, run, run away. Run, run away. And there's Grave says, Wharf Stash killed me. I feel like a page should be over here. Again on not fair. Oh, that's where we just were with Markiplier. That's why. Bye, Slendy. 
Good thing he doesn't just chase you eternally. You'd be like super screwed if he did. So let's just follow the path. Hope that Markiplier's advice is useful. Probably was. He's done this a hundred times. All right. More proxies. More weird-looking zombie skull things. You got some weird dreams, person. Not that. I guess you can control your nightmares, but... Oh, and a page! And let us save! I'm gonna start saving after every page, because, god damn it, I have died like... four times already, just trying to get one page. I am not good at this game. I will be the first to admit that I am not good at this game. Okay, I guess we're not going that direction. Go away, Slendy. Go away, Slendy. Go away, go away, go away, Slendy. Thank you. Ooh, nice little tower. And again on Let Us Save. I'm also doing this because if I get killed and knocked back a super far distance um well yeah i guess if i get killed i won't get knocked back a super far distance so let us follow the path follow the path follow the path 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 path, path. follow the path follow the path this thing will probably mean death yay we got three wait no Okay, I'll be the first to admit, I deserve that. I deserve that. You know, that's not actually scary. Following the path, following the path. I ho a Dario, we're following the path. Let us go on, what do I say? This is kind of boring, but what do you do? A suspicious car. Is there anything behind this suspicious car? Oh, another one. Do I, if I keep going, will I find more cars? Apparently not. The cars are just trying to get me lost. Sorry, cars. Not today, but you might get me killed because of damn Slenderman. Go away, Slendy. Thank you. Uh, let's see what this little chair leads to. Oh, this leads to the bridge. Well, I guess I should do the bridge at some point. There are a lot of bridges. They eventually lead to death. So, got that page. I actually knew that page was there. And the little... Total saves a lot. Oh, the game tries your saves. What is this? A little, little house out in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of a lake. In the middle of a haunted forest. Who actually did that? First off, even when this forest wasn't haunted, why would you have a house in the middle of the lake? What is the actual practical purposes of that? Second off, why would you only have like a tiny little bridge to it? Might you have a nice big bridge? Hi, enemies. Bye, enemies. Now, Puzzle strikes, but we are stronger than him. We're not quite strong enough to one KO, but who cares? And how much you want to bet that this game's going to get exponentially more difficult? Where is he? I heard him. There he is. The nice thing about Slenderman is he's kind enough to play a sound effect when he spawns, so it is incredibly obvious. If it, I'm pretty sure in the original Slender game they didn't do that. You just had to actually spot the guy in the distance and pray that you could get away from him in time. All right, back on the bridge. Please don't show up, Slendy, because then I am screwed and I can only run in like one direction.
Mark's manly speech. Okay. Oh, hi, slander. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. This is why I don't like the bridge. This is why I don't like the bridge. This is why I don't like the bridge. Go away, slender. Thank you. All right, so we already been here. Let's go back up and find what else is on the bridge. So yeah, apparently there are different achievements and stuff, little rewards for exploring around the map. Um, obviously in Slender Forest, I'm not gonna be doing that unless it's like super easy to get to because I don't wanna be murderized by Slendy. Why am I using Mark's stupid lingo? I know. We got more enemies, yay. And yeah, for once I didn't level up, so my MVP isn't full of this door. Woo! Got a rumble and got a health fragment, yay. And we got another page, so once again we save. Okay, we're back. We died to Slenderman again. So, and he's appearing in the exact same spot he used to. I'm guessing since he's been appearing every time I load in the exact same spots that he probably has specific points he loads at and is triggered by walking near him or near them. So technically, if you were to die often enough, you could memorize all the routes he takes. That probably would take forever. And hopefully you don't die that many times, but knowing how I've been playing. Okay, there's the lamppost. I think we went that way before, so let's go down, down, down to the depths of the forest. Looks like we triggered another Slenderman encounter, but that's all right. Ooh, a wall, just what I didn't need. Okay, let's just hope that once we get in this mysterious, that's a graveyard, isn't it? That is totally a graveyard. Um, structure, Slenderman doesn't appear because we'd be kind of screwed. Where is the entrance of this thing? Well, it's a lovely stone wall. I will give it that. The devs obviously wanted to fill out space here because there is absolutely no need to make this place this big. Or to make it extend to the edge of the map so you have to backtrack. <sighs> oh, hey, a lonely grave. That doesn't, it's not interactable. I really hope there aren't any Slenderman traps hidden around here because this would be a pain in the neck area to run into him. No. Well, yes. Of course there was. Why wouldn't there be? I knew it. It was too good a placement for Slenderman not to appear. Fortunately, he disappeared. Because he does that. Teleports around like the big baby bitch that he is. Again, why does Slenderman not just, you know, follow us eternally? We'd be kind of screwed. I mean, what's the, what, what is Slenderman's objective? Is he trying to scare people? Is he trying... Ooh, yay. All of these. Miss, miss, miss. These guys are really Yeah, that's the thing. The enemies in this level are kind of pathetic. Um, which I, I don't know why they're like that. Also, apparently we have a new stat, a TP, whatever that is. And we're just getting dream points, because of course we're just getting dream points. And I called it! We are in a cemetery. Cemetery, cemetery. And... Page? So we can finally save. We're going around the graveyard, we're running into Slenderman because of course he has to show up in a graveyard. I'll give you devs. That is actually a good placement for him. 
an obnoxious placement for him, but a good placement for him. And I, I am, did, I am nearly positive that that is is not random where he shows up. It's just where would be the most inconvenient. What is this stone building? Why can't we get into it? Is it like a crypt? Probably is a crypt actually. We're going along and going along and going along. We have six pages. Where are seven and eight? Of course, it gets exponentially more difficult to find pages the longer you've been playing. Much to my despair. Because I don't have a clue where the other ones are. Alright, so we're going to go back the way we came for a minute because we need to escape Slenderman. And again, I think we've been over this entire forest at this point, so. <sighs> Spooky. Not. Ooh. Piece of paper. Okay. This is starting to get obnoxious. And we're back. There is Slenderman again. I swear he lo he appears every single time you load. Maybe it's just he all I keep on dying to the same Slenderman or same spawn instance of Slenderman. There's the tower up there. Here's the road. There's Oh, that's just a bare patch of ground. For some reason, I thought it was a crystal. There's the lamppost. I think down is the cemetery. I forget what's over this way. It's probably the bridge, but we shall see. Yes, continue to do the useless scare thing. All right, here are the cars. The cars gotta have something. Go away, Slender Man. I feel like Slenderman's real challenge isn't even him catching up to you because you can run about the same speed he is. It's getting, it's making you get lost or stuck on a tree because if you get stuck on a tree, you're pretty much dead. Also, why isn't there a page on the cars? Why do you have the cars there if you're not going to put a page there? And there's an instance of Slenderman over there. So the only thing it exists for is to jump scare you. So we're following the path some more. Hopefully we'll find the eighth page soon. I've been here before. I've been everywhere on this map before. It was like useless to say that. Yet I somehow missed the eighth page. I don't know how. There's some more of that lake. That lake, yo. It's really cool. Ah, here we go. That's why it's off the path. And we are finally at Dick Butt. Because of course we're at Dick Butt. And the gate opens. And we are saving. 